up, everybody? This is Jason Lee, and this is Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored. And I'm Jaroslyn, the managing editor of Hollywood Unlocked. Yo, it's your boy Giovanni Watson. Hold on. And we have a guest in the studio because, you know, I don't personally do weed. I know I need to smoke some weed or do some type of yeah. cannabis yeah. stuff because, you know, my alcoholism is just out of control. <laughs> but we have L from Cannaviews in the building. What's up, oh, L from yeah. Cannaviews? Thank you guys for having me. I'm so excited. I live I live down the street, actually. I should have walked here because the <laughs> parking is like... Yeah, but this is L.A. We don't walk. We valet across the street from our house. You're That's right. hilarious, you're but right. true. Okay, so you're in the cannabis industry and now I mean, California, now that we've legalized it, it's about to be crazy, right? It's about to be crazy. If you're in it, you definitely, it's like a gold rush right now. Lit. Everybody's trying to get in the cannabis industry. Okay, so Cannaviews, you're a female entrepreneur in the cannabis industry. How, I'm sure you're one of few, because yeah, everybody that I meet about cannabis are, that want me to get involved are all men. So yeah. tell me about mm -hmm. Cannaviews and how you got into the industry. Okay, so I started off at, I'm from New York, by the way. Yeah, I can I tell, it. I hear yeah, it, I hear I'm it. like off. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I started off actually as a bud tender. I got a job at like some shithole, like <laughs> dispensary, like where I used to live. And I just like made friends with all the vendors. And then like, after like six months, like I just like skyrocketed up because I realized like New Yorkers have a different kind of like work ethic yeah. than California people, no offense. And, um, you know, I just... Well, I'd say more than L.A. people because, you know, well, the Hollywood people because I'm from the Bay Area. Oh, no, no. Bay Area is different. They're yeah. more... Yeah. They're better. And I'm not from here, so I'm out of that. <laughs> yeah, no, you're out. Yeah. I'm sorry if I... If I no! Don't. No, go ahead. Go but, ahead. Uh, but, go ahead. yeah, so, like, a lot of the people, actually, that I grew up with from New York, mm -hmm. um, they were actually already doing their thing out here, so I just kind of jumped on that bandwagon, but they didn't think I was going to do anything. They just kind of did me, like, a favor. Mm -hmm. But then when I proved to them that I can make them millions of dollars, they kind of were like, oh, maybe we do want to keep you around. <laughs> so, um, but being in that industry, you kind of just get like shitted on all the time because mm -hmm. I feel like it's a boys club, mm -hmm. which I'm sure a lot of like industries yeah. that are men pretty much are like all boys clubs. So that's why I kind of started my show because I kind of want to like mm. make a different something I didn't associate with them, like my own different thing where I can kind of like brand myself in the mm. cannabis industry, like as a woman, because it is hard for us because they don't give us credit for shit and they don't feel like we should get paid as much as them. And in the cannabis industry, there's like millions of dollars. So when I try, you know, when I'm supposed to get my share of the pie, like they just feel like, oh, like, you know, that's too much for a woman. So let's talk about Cannaviews. Your show on YouTube, people can search it, Cannaviews, and it's yeah. C-A-N-N-A-V-I-E-W-Z-Z? -Z? Yeah. Okay, so w tell me about the show and what? why did you create that show and what do people? What would people find on your show? Okay, so uh, I just created it just to do something different because I realized that there's not a lot of shows about weed and also, like, since it is just about to be, like, totally legalized, the, like, you know, the taboo associated with weed is kind of like going away and people are more open to it. So I just try to like get in there, you know, since they're not like most of the weed shows are like Snoop Dogg, who's kind of old and like <laughs> be real, who's kind of old. No, yeah. shout out to them. They're like amazing, you know, people, yeah. but there's no one for like the women and for like the younger the generation. Younger crowd, mm -hmm. right. So I just, you know, called some people that I kind of know and uh -huh. had them just come on and review different products with me. So you going through a whole like different strands of weed? Are you smoking it? Are you? Yeah, we're always smoking weed. Like, are you waxing it? I would it, be smoking it? weed right now if you guys like. <laughs> I brought weed with me, and I know you don't smoke. So. Yeah, I well, smoke. Well, let me say this: I don't smoke, I but I frequently fly niggas in to visit who do, do smoke. smoke. <laughs> okay, well, but I, I, I do want all the smoke. Okay, I got you. Likewise, I, I brought you guys like a lot of stuff. So. Let's see here. Ooh, nice. Now, are you educated in the weed? Um, like, do you know like how weed is supposed to feel, smell, taste? I mean, uh, there's a lot of different weeds. You know, some bunk weed. If you if you saw it, yeah, of course. Wait a minute. So, okay, the thing about edibles. This is an edible, right? Yes. The thing about edibles is the last time I did an edible, I was in Las Vegas with this guy, uh -huh. and he took me to the weed shop to mm -hmm. buy some weed. And there was a candy bar there. You know, I ain't got a problem eating a candy bar. So I said, I'll eat the candy bar. Uh -huh. Well, anyway, he told me to eat the whole candy bar. And I ate the whole thing. And I thought I was dying. And he didn't tell you oh, that it was yeah. it had, uh, No, I knew it did. Oh. But it didn't taste like it. So Very I was like, mm. Well, that's the thing about edibles. People be like, this ain't shit. And then and 30 it minutes so later. And it so good, too, you know. So yeah. you keep eating it. And then you're like, fuck. I need to go to the hospital. Right. So yeah. what happens if, well, when you do eat edibles and you do eat too much of it, 
you really don't need to go to the hospital, right? No. You just feel like you're dying. you feel like you're dying. Like, I gave my mom some edibles, and she called me. She was like, I'm dying. I'm like, calm <laughs> down. You're not dying. But you do feel like you're dying. I personally don't really eat a lot of edibles because I get very much anxiety. Mm -hmm. I would say just eat, like, one piece or, like, three, you're dead. They you know work I mean? for me when I go to Vegas for the pool parties, and mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna be there for some time. Like I just keep, I'll take little edibles, little yeah. pieces, little pieces just is good, like micro dosing. Don't yeah. eat a lot of it. Okay, now I'm looking at this right here. Now I've never seen no shit like this before. What is that yeah. all? What What weed? is this? Okay, so this is a pack. Where this is one of the companies I work with. We mm -hmm. did a collab for the game, so this is actually his packwood. Um, it's a uh, backwood with weed inside and wax and then it's rolled in keef and I think it has hash in it too. Oh, that sound like funeral oh, arrangements. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so it's like something fuck. you share with your friends. You so can't take this to the head. <laughs> Unless you're like me and you smoke it to the head, but if you can handle it. All right, so I have a friend coming to my house tomorrow yes. and when he comes to my house tomorrow, is this, now I do know the difference between <laughs> sativa uh -huh. and what's the other one? Indica. 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 Yeah. Indica is the one that makes you really fucked up, right? Right. And sativa is the one supposed to give you energy. Mm -hmm. What right. are these? Those, well, it says it on the thing. I'll tell you. So this one's here. sour OG, so this is like a sativa. That's a sativa. Yeah, so it doesn't say the thing, but I already No, know. Janae Aiko. Okay, a designer pre-roll? What is a designer? It's fancy. Oh. So like if you open it, oh, you'll see it has, like, oh. it has like a gold tip. So these are all sour OG? I, they might be. Yes. Okay, so are these mine? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Of course. Everything is yours. You don't smoke weed. I got I females do. that do. I, can, can I do. I got weed. You got it. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. He needs one. No, no. He, one he's in female. the audience. We'll get him later. This Let's stay in the interview. Okay. Okay, I got you. <laughs> all right. So now, so these are. And I brought you clothes. Are these your all? Pro are these all your products? Or are these products that you review yeah, on like your show? You well, I work with the companies. Got this it. is mine. I, I own this clothing line. It's called Tropicana. I brought like different sizes, so I don't know who's oh, going like, to fit into what. Like but. Tropicana for trapping. Yes. Right. Trapping Got Canna. It. Get it? Like, this I is a large. It. You definitely can't fit that, Jason. Well, you can't either. Oh, <laughs> this is a large. Maybe one of your right, <laughs> maybe your right arm could fit one. it. Yeah. <laughs> so have you, how did you come up with this? You're not being sued right now, are you? Not yet. Are these hemp and are these hemp infused clothes like you put them on and get high? You know, it's kind of like a lick. When when I gotta stop, I'll you gotta stop. stop. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so to. so let's go back to the disadvantages, not disadvantages, but this disparage treatment of women in this industry. Why yes. do you think women aren't respected? I mean, I know having worked in the labor industry, why women fight for wage equality and all those mm -hmm. things. But why do you think in the cannabis industry, it's? I feel like that way in the cannabis industry. I just think they think women aren't smart enough. You know what I mean? And I feel like I meet a lot of women and that I can't relate to, like 80 per, maybe 90% of them, because a lot mm -hmm. of them are retarded and they can't really <laughs> hang. But me personally, I could. I make a lot of money. I do very well for myself. I see. And, you know, I can do more than most men. You know, a lot of times they gave a dude a job that I was willing to do for free mm -hmm. and he still fucked it up. You know what I mean? So... I mean, I get it, but I keep, <coughs> I keep reinventing myself and I keep proving myself that I can. That do. is because you're from New York. Yeah. Though. So, so when you think of like the president of the United States, do you look at that and say they just wanted a man so bad that they they let a qualified woman get away and hired this jackass Cheeto motherfucker to run the country? Uh, you know, I think it doesn't really matter about gender. I don't really like either of the candidates for presidency. Mm -hmm. Like, I wouldn't want Hillary or Trump, but. You know, whoever's best for the job. We could always get Putin. Putin? <laughs> well, he's no, I'm just playing. Citizen. All right, so what day of the week does your show air on YouTube, and where? What, when is the next one going up? Okay, so usually we film on Saturdays, and by Monday it's, like, up. But I usually put them up on Sundays. I put the last one up a week ago, and now it's kind of, like, you know, once a week, something like that. But there's not like a set day because it's kind of still new. So I just like upload content whenever I have it. So who are some of the celebrities you've collaborated with? Um, in the weed industry, mm -hmm. uh, the game. Oh yeah, we nigga. know he likes the to game, smoke. nigga. <laughs> yeah. Um, our, our companies we've worked with. I, I just you know a lot of celebrities. I just don't want to say their names because I don't want to be corny. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I don't be like I work with that one or that one. Like mm -hmm. people know me. Well, listen. Hey, I, I know. Listen, I when I was when I was in New York during Fashion Week and went to the dentist. I mean, the way they sold me was we work with Offset, so and so, so. I said, well, that's a HIPAA violation, but fine. <laughs> right? Everybody has to market their business however they market their I feel business. You. I just feel like it's kind of corny for me. I but, got you. Okay. But what what are you hoping to? What message are you hoping to send to people back home in the East Coast? That. 
you could definitely do shit outside of the box. You don't mm -hmm. have to live in a fucking four block radius, get married, have kids, and have a you know nine to five job just because your mother did it. Yep. You know, if it was up to my parents, I'd be working in a salon, like slaving, doing fucking hair all day. And even when I first started doing this shit, my parents were like, you're a drug dealer or whatever the fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, it's legal here. It's not a drug dealer. How long you know? have you been out here? I've been out here for six years. Okay. And I've been like run around fucking, oh, you know, people bullshit you out here. Mm. I was supposed to do a reality show and this and like nothing really worked Welcome out. Welcome to Hollywood. Hollywood. I know, it's all bullshit. <laughs> okay, so, so in terms of like now all the conversations about legalizing marijuana and the big hype around it becoming legal this year and become even more legal in the future. What do you think about reparations for people who are incarcerated from weed related? I think they should all be let out immediately wow. like this. Like I think people that get arrested with drugs should just have a fine, honestly, mm. all drugs, but weed especially because it's- uh, I don't know about all drugs now. I, I mean, cocaine and heroin. Heroin, PCP, meth. Get a fine. Wow. <laughs> I say a fine about <laughs> weed. A big fine, a big, a big fine. fine. Shit. Yeah. Jail yeah. is horrible. Have you guys ever been there? Uh, yeah, I've, yeah, no, I've been I'm a jail. felony. I'm a felon. I mean, I, no, I'm, I'm a, a felony. I've been in jail, but listen, do, <laughs> no, let me be let me be extraordinary and clear. I believe I like in her. I believe in having a prison system. I do think we need to reform ours. Mm, um, shout out to Bill Clinton who fucked that up. But right. either way, I mean, I do think there needs to be a prison. I mean, some people that you know, you do drugs, you have a drug problem, get treatment. But you out there pushing weight when you can go get a job. Like niggas can get jobs. What yeah. kind of job? I think it's a kind wait, of but job that's, that wait that goes back to it. Let me tell you something. This is what I love. We're now in the times of where job shaming was put on the forefront with the guy from Cosby Show, where people were shaming him for work, working at Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. Right. In this industry, once you're on television, God forbid you go back and get a normal job, whatever right. that means. But I think our culture, you know, the, the, the new wave, you got to get that chip off your shoulder. If you got to work to pay yeah. your bills, you got to get that job. It's no, true. for sure. Maybe not. It's, it's hard to get. I know because I've been living out here and when I blew through all my money, I was trying to get a job and that shit was rough. Like, I don't have a college degree. <coughs> you know, I was yeah. fucking selling solar, knocking on people's door like, yo, let me I used put to some free solar on your fucking roof. It was so <laughs> on hard. On your fucking roof. You Italian? A Sicilian? No, I'm Israeli. Listen, uh, if, you knocked out, if you knocked on my door and said, let me put some soil on your fucking roof, person. I would entertain you just no, for, because I know the shits and giggles. Good, but I'm just saying, it was hard to get a job. Even when I work in dispensary, sure, I was sure. making $10 an hour. Yeah. You know, Jeez. but I'm a hustler. So, like, I'm like, I'm willing to work 24 hours, seven days a week, which I do now, you know? So, thank God I got lucky right. that I have brains and shit. And lastly, but, a lot of people don't know, because this is new to me. What's the difference between THC and the CBD? Okay, so because a lot of people are talking about CBD, now. right? Yeah, right. So CBD is legal, like totally legal. You can sell it on Amazon. Okay. THC is like you know the stuff that gets you high. CBD is the it has the benefits of the marijuana like side effects, but it doesn't get you high. So it can help you with your sleep. It can help you with anxiety, mm. but it won't get you like fucked up. You know Got what I mean? Got you. I need okay. that. I It'll relax you. Got you. You might like it. Yeah, I, I'm just not good with inhaling marijuana in general because no matter if it's sativa or indica, I just get really, really high and really paranoid, and then no, anxiety the kicks in. Sucks. Then anxiety kicks in, and then I'm just fucked. It's not for everybody. No, no it's, it's definitely not for everybody. Okay, so back to can of use. Who are some of the people that you want to have on your show in the future that you want uh, to? Like Wiz for sure, because he's yeah. like <laughs> you know the man in the shit, like yeah, Nipsey Hussle. For sure. And Snoop, those mm. are like my top three that I wish. Rihanna and Rihanna too. Add You're Rihanna right. to right. the list. Oh, Rihanna, yeah, Rihanna's. Too. Rihanna, I fucking. That love would Rihanna. be, of course, that would be yeah. dope if you had Rihanna on the show. I'm still just for the viewers listening. That what about Montel you, Jordan? That have listened to our show. I'm still waiting to meet Rihanna. This, you didn't meet Rihanna? No, I've met her, but I mean, they're trying to set yeah. up a meeting, and it's just like have her here, right? Have she wouldn't let me one day. She wants us to come to her house, but still, just waiting on her, just like come on, girl, <laughs> damn, Jesus gonna come before you. <laughs> that was a drop. Oh, Listen, she weaked at me one day, made my goddamn day. Oh my God. You sure it was that you? Yes. Well, let me say this. The one thing, well, was the one thing about Rihanna, not to go too far off topic, that I will say, if people don't know, when you get up on her in her face, she has the most beautiful eyes She's I think I've ever seen. She's bad as fuck. Yeah. Naturally, honest, like bad. Naturally. What are the kind of things you talk about other than like weed? Like, What do you like to talk about while you're high? What do I like <laughs> to talk about while I'm high? I, I sometimes I don't like to talk honestly. Right. I just want to sleep. You know what I mean. Most of the time I, I like to smoke by myself, unless yeah. I like you, which is like rare. I don't I like really you. like many people. So. I know people are like into space. 
Do you uh, space? They, like outer space, talk outer about space. outer space <laughs> shit. Then you got Joe Rogan who got Elon Musk high. But that's that's a, that's, a, that's another reason why I don't <laughs> smoke because the people that I have been around who are smoking and typically like you know my niggas when they come over whatever. Yeah, what are we talking about now? We're talking about cartoons. <laughs> Those and are the shit? best conversations. High no. conversations are natural. Do you like smoke. Yeah, I smoke. a lot. Yeah, but not you, like. But OD you know what I want to talk about all day long. But Dick. we're not going to talk about it on air. No, no, you no, said- not that. What? Oh, Hollywood unlocks money. Money. Yeah, money. Money all day. Anyway, okay. So, what were you say? I was going to say, man. I just wanted to once again tell the people how they could find you and follow the, oh, the right. show. And yeah, I want to keep in the touch social with you media, okay, so your phone my- number, your blood type, yeah. social security number. You single? Uh, we ain't getting into all that. Tell everybody <laughs> where they can find you, follow okay. your show, and stay in tune with what you're working on. Right. So my personal Instagram is at ll.ceo, and then the show's Instagram is at canaviews. And and your YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel. Duh. And spell uh, canaviews again now. At canaviews, C-A-N-N-A. V-I-E-W-Z-Z So two Z's And Gio Don't forget we have The wonderful Adam here Who's gonna put it All right here All right yes. here Is gonna be Can of You So yes. there you go yeah. Alright well look Thank you for coming on the show We're gonna thank keep in touch Thank you for having me I Thank appreciate you for the it. gifts I'm yeah. gonna actually, Let me get some edibles girl You got more edibles? I'm gonna eat one of these worms Today uh, I don't know if you should Jason Just I'm, today No I'm having dinner with, with Joe her. I'm having dinner with Joe Button I'm gonna need oh, something Okay yeah yeah <laughs> do, do, do. So listen, Nick Cannon, I am wearing the Wild and Out shirt today, yeah. not because you gave me a job, but because you are my fucking hero. Yes. That nigga went ballistic yesterday and told Kanye West, thank you for coming back from the sunken place. Mm-hmm. Kanye West went off on a rant. Did you see the rant? Yes. Loved it. I was just so here. I, well, not for Kanye's rant, I but wish. I did like what Snoop said to him. What did he say? That's he was like, I that's know. the nigga I know. That's the Kanye I know. But people have to understand, Kanye West deserves to be accepted however he chooses to show himself. Mm. No, not when you're saying slavery is a choice. I don't give a goddamn. We come too far for that. Don't say that. Well, Especially not on TMZ. Let me say this. Especially Kanye West, um, you know, like I said, y'all know I've been to the house, talked to Kanye. I thought he was, that day he was fine. He well, suffers from being a, a bipo- for bipolar yeah, he's disorder. Bipolar, you know? right. So, you know, I'm, take that into consideration. But it was good to see him back. And I will say, people do need to lay off taking jabs at his wife. And this is the thing. Because it's Kim Car. Wait, you, what you shaking your head for? Let me say, can I finish my sentence? Because you're shaking your head and don't know what the fuck you're shaking it for. <laughs> people think it's easy to take shots at Kanye West's wife because it's Kim Kardashian. People hate Kim Kardashian because they're fucking jealous. Kim looks better than most of the hoes that talk about her. Kim got more money than all of them combined talking about her. And Kim don't give a fuck at the end of the day. She said, I'm going to get niggas out of prison. I'm going to go to the White House. You niggas complain ain't getting niggas out of prison. Yeah. I don't look at Kim Kardashian and just shit on her because it's easy to do that. And I really feel like people I do. love Kim Kardashian. Ray J's took a, taking shots at her. Ray J, sit your ass the fuck down. Nick Cannon, I don't but think he took a Ray shot J. at her. I just think that. What did he say? He said that Drake possibly <coughs> slept with her. He said he wouldn't. He said he wouldn't put it past them. You know, like he I didn't say he didn't them, make yeah. the a complete allegation, but the the, comp, the question was asked, like Nick Cannon said, There's and he f- was just like, I don't know, Drake, maybe. Kanye West told me Drake lives across the street from him. He could walk across the street, knock on his door with a cup of coffee, and say, "My nigga, did you see with my wife?" Just have that conversation. Well, uh, but instead, he goes to Instagram. Well, maybe Drake's on tour. All I'm saying, so I. <laughs> I get everything you're saying, and I don't disagree with you because Kim is that bitch, and she still made a, a empire for herself. But for her you, entire family. Wait, 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 wait. You married a rapper. This is hip hop. Do not get it twisted. People talk about each other all day. It is the wait, culture. Wait. Just because he's Kanye. Wait, hip hop is talking about people's wives. He's wait, wait, hip hop. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back. But oh, what? Well, let me back up. Tupac and Biggie. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? Come okay. on. It's like, and then remember, it was they were asking Nick Cannon, who's still a rapper, about Drake, who's a rapper, about Kanye. And, you know, it's it's still in the realms of hip hop culture. And I think that Kanye. It, okay, we know he's bipolar, but you're being too sensitive, bro. Like, Look, first well, off, I don't think he's been. Oh, go ahead, Jill. There is a there are a lot of confirmed names that I have slept with Kim K. <laughs> That's one. Well, what does that matter? Number two. What does that? Why does no, that matter though? Wait, number two. Kim, we did not know about Kim Kardashian until after that sex tape. When did we know about her before that? Okay. Excluding her father being alone. So let's take a step back. Well, after that tape, for, that's when they got that back. show. For those of us that have been on the Hollywood scene for a long time, Kim Kardashian was out here before the With sex Paris tape. With Paris Hilton as her best friend? No, let me break it down. Kim Kardashian was working. She was What she did was that she was a stylist and she rearranged people's closets, celebrity closets. So, And that is a job. If you've ever been in, in, in a celebrity's closet and you see yeah. How it's laid out, it's, it's a gift, right? Yeah. 
Okay, so that was her job. Where we came to know her was she was Paris Hilton's friend. But I remember the buzz when Paris and Lindsay Lohan and Britney Spears were all hanging out. Mm -hmm. And those were the it girls in the paparazzi era. But then once Kim Kardashian hit the scene, mm -hmm. she wasn't white. She wasn't blonde. She had curves. She looked very different than them. And everybody loved her. There, there's video online yeah, 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 when people would like walk past Paris and want to talk to Kim. She started getting buzz. Now, how the sex tape came about, there's a bunch of conspiracies. I'm not even going to waste my time on that today. Because that's not the conversation. The conversation is, is, why are people feeling like it is okay to attack Kim Kardashian? So you're, why? you're saying her wholeness got <coughs> deleted in the words of Drake. See, that's, that shit Jigaboos talk about. Let me break it down. <laughs> Stupid ass little dumb monkeys. That that's all they know to that talk about. And I ain't talking about way. black people. I'm talking about stupid ass people who live on the internet for that quote from Drea. I don't give a fuck about whether wholeness could be deleted. That's not my point. My point is, is that, and let me be very simple about it. It's easy to attack Kim Kardashian because she's Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. it's, it's hard for anybody. And this is what's so crazy. It's oh. harder for women to look at Kim Kardashian and say, listen, okay. Because I know bitches who are putting their babies asleep with NyQuil and fucking niggas from the block who sell dope. <laughs> Wait, not that that's a bad thing, but that's no, their thing. Right, right, right. Kim Kardashian had a relationship with somebody who was famous. Had a sex tape that got leaked or put out strategically. Which was trash. And then created an empire for her entire family. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Well, no, Ray J, wrong with that. he should be getting a percentage of all the Kardashians' money. But all, this conversation's it, I mean, yeah, screw, yeah, yeah, just, uh, I'm just saying, in regards to the Kim Kardashian-esque women, they do not get that much respect. We saw Amber Rose recently pissed because she feels she's not getting credit for things that she's come up with because she was a stripper. Uh... Uh, all, all women that have come from the poll are still having to uh, die down with those rumors. And because of Kim having come to us from a sex tape. I just, I just feel like, why did, why did, why does Kim Kardashian have to keep, what else does she need to prove to be respected? I think, I think this marriage with her and Kanye is now uh, setting a new image for herself, but it's like, come on, right, right before Kanye, you had a 72 day marriage. It's like, so there's still a lot that people haven't forgotten. It's not just yeah. the sex tape. So Kim it's Kardashian is the only person that's ever gotten into a marriage with somebody and gotten an annulment for 70 in 72 days. It, it, there's people that have gotten married. Claudia Jordan got, um, a fucking annulment in 72 hours. But she didn't put it all on her reality show. It comes off as Wait, disingenuous. Wait, because she's profiting from yeah. sharing her life. See, that that's the real problem. Let me get to the real root of the problem. <laughs> any type of mother, anytime a motherfucker's <laughs> getting a bag, doing shit that you broke niggas is doing for free, y'all get upset. Stop being mad at niggas because they know how to monetize the bullshit. Y'all be getting mad at me talking shit. Guess what? I'm making fucking money talking shit. Right now, guess what? <laughs> we just, you're right. No, I <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Y'all gonna, go to. gonna get so mad because we got, ooh, we got money. <laughs> we gonna get money today. But you know what? You get mad at people when they get money. Listen, I don't, I don't hate. Listen, hold on. I don't hate Kim Kardashian, and that ain't Me just neither. because I've been able to be in her home or I know her family. I actually sit that back and study. That's not a drop. That's just real fucking facts. You know, you said something that really bothered me one day, and I'm gonna bring it up right now. What? You looked at that video of me at Kim and Kanye's house, and you said it was me, Kim, Kanye, Cardi, and Kim, and Chris, and you said you made it. And I said, "What do you mean I made it?" You said yeah, you made it, mean? and I, you said you were the only regular person in the room. That's the problem with people's perception of what life is. Well, that's a is. good thing. I want to no, be the only regular person in the room for the billionaires. I know you gave me a compliment. I yeah. got it, but this is how I received it. We're all the same person. Kanye, Kim, Cardi. Mm -hmm. Cardi was there sharing her vulnerability about stuff. Kim was sharing her vulnerability. Kanye was talking about his vulnerability. In that conversation, everybody was equal. Right. The perception of others, unless you have super fame, like you're great at what you do, better at me and things and vice versa. We're <laughs> all great at what we do. And once we claim that we're a king or queen or whatever, then that's when the world starts to say, ah, you normal, you regular, you not, you this, that. Not even trying to put you down. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that, it's easy for people to attack what they don't have because no. everybody wants. If you if you could sw if anybody can switch places with Kim Kardashian right fucking now, I don't know. Now. That's a, right. I don't know because I that would. shit don't come easy. Fuck so the money. Me Mentally, don't it don't come easy. So let me ask you a question: stuff. If you could change places right fucking now with Con Kanye West right now, switch financial positions, switch yep. clout positions, yep. switch designer positions, switch positions. You tell me right now, you wouldn't do it. No. Why? That's because you don't know the demons that that brother faces because of all those hats. You got demons too. Yeah, but oh, not to the level of that brother. That's the other thing, Jason. People are blaming her for the change in Kanye. Sure, because it's easy. Listen, 
it's easy to attack the woman. People. No, it's easy to attack people that are easily attacked. Mm. You know, if, for example, if you put me next to DJ Ski, who owns Dash Radio, mm -hmm. they're going to attack the shit out of me over him because he's the nice guy. <laughs> If you put me next to Joe Budden, I don't know. Maybe a bit more difficult. <laughs> that would be an equal. Maybe a difficult <laughs> decision. Okay, because we both have a, the minute yeah. you have an opinion, yes, or the minute you no longer give a fuck about people's opinions, you become a target. Oh yeah. I so concur with that. And I think she took the backlash because it's like honestly, I do like the work she's doing in the prison system. <laughs> I, you know, my brother's in jail. I'm here for it. Um, but at the same time, people are like, oh, when, it's the timeline because she started it right after he said the slavery comment. So it's like the, now they're saying, is well, she trying how, to say How do we face? know she didn't lay up in bed with her three black children and say, oh, my God, right. I didn't even. First of all, you have to understand my mother before she had a black child didn't understand the perils of having black people in her lives until mm. she brought me home to her grand her, her parents. And they said, get that little nigger out of my house. Mm. <laughs> so some people may not understand People may not understand the perils of African-American people or the history or the pain that we go through every day until you actually have to walk it. She has to walk her three black babies to school. I mean, two of them, maybe one. <laughs> but either way, <laughs> you know, no matter whether her kids go to West Hills School or Hidden Hill School uh -huh. with all the bunch of white people in private school, and her kids go to school with security every day. Every black kid don't have that. I just don't think Kanye shouldn't expect people to talk about his wife. You married Kim Kardashian. You did not marry That's good point. Uh, a woman that came on the scene from just having a reputable re uh, respect. So Kanye can't be mad about that. Do you know how many girls that my friends fuck who have no reputable relationship? Hold on. You know how many girls are in my phone who are broke? They got good weaves. Nails might be done. <laughs> they might even smell cute on Tuesday. But them bitches still getting fucked. And yeah. so wait a minute. When do we stop attacking people for being people? No, because she's what she no. said is Kim was publicly out there with Gio. Multiple, how many people multiple, have you slept with? Nobody, did, but nobody knows. How many, pe how many people, people have you? Wait, how many people have you slept with? Over three hundred. Okay, that's disgusting. Wait, do we know? <laughs> wait, wait, do we know three hundred people? Kim Kardashian's fuck. It's not just wait. Kim. No, this is my question. Uh, I stop. Mean, stop. Wait, wait, wait. We no, know no, 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 no. What we not gonna do? We not gonna start creating this whole fucking. Uh, what's that nigga named Basquiat uh, <laughs> portrait of confusion here we're gonna be, just, we're gonna stay on the topic we know enough no 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 we're gonna stay on the topic name them Shad Moss Bow Nick wow. Cannon so she fucked okay. Bow Wow which well, is like no, no, just, why go, just go through the names you don't need any Bow Wow Nick Cannon mm -hmm. Nick Lachey mm -hmm. um, uh, Kanye, Chris, West. Kanye West Chris Humphreys Ray J Ray J mm -hmm. um, that's seven um, mm -hmm. the game said he fucked her and Chloe okay um, that's uh, hold on, hold on. Um, uh, the, the the football player. Oh, oh Reggie, Reggie Bush. Bush. Reggie, okay. Bush. Reggie Bush. We're already okay. at nine. Okay, go ahead. Um, who else? It got to be like 10, 30 more, I think. Well, that we don't okay. know about, okay. but regardless, hold we on, know about on. nine hold celebrities. So, so we know nine. So let's let's multiply that by three. Let's say twenty seven. Okay. The girl is in her right, thirty. Right, right, the right, girl's right. in her thirties. Right. And she's one of the most beautiful women in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Traveling the entire world and is a multimillionaire. We're talking about nine people. 27 people? Wait a minute. He fucked 300. This is the problem. We sit next to him every day, but we're not disgusted by it. We're disgusted by it because the bitch got coin. No, we're I We're disgusted think by it because the bitch is a badass bitch. And her kids ain't going to need shit. And she's fucking a multi-million dollar. And, and the bitch's bathroom is bigger than this. And oh, all nine of those people know or, are, or have worked with each other. Who cares? We're in Hollywood. Do you know how many people I fucked? The fuck people that I fucked? Who cares? At the end of the day, it just goes even back to it. Even if it's just regular dudes from your I'm hood. I'm done. I'm not going to talk about haters anymore. Y'all <laughs> hate on Kim Kardashian. I love she's a Kim Kardashian. We love Kim and Kanye. But at the end of the day, Kanye can't. You cannot be offended of the fact that you married someone who was already if you are had listening, a reputation. If you are listening to the sound of my voice, this is the word that Jesus told me to give y'all right now. Forgiveness. Stop fucking hating. Jesus told you. Jesus did not say add that F word. Uh, my body is fucking sore. Why? Why is your body sore? Because I woke up this morning and I did Beach Body on Demand. And I'm telling you, I think as I get older, these workouts get harder. But I love the luxury of having my own workout routine in my home. It, yeah, gym. that saves money. Yeah. So Beach Body on Demand, everybody knows we've been talking about it here. One of our sponsors that supports the show gave us a free account so we could try it. And listen, what I love about it is they have, uh, they're the company that's behind P90X, Insanity, 20 day, uh, 21 Day Fix, T25 Brazil, Butt Lift, 
um, and some others. So uh, we've started doing it. I know, Gio, you were doing it. How's yes. it working out for you? I'm going good. I'm down five pounds, boy. You know what's so crazy? I'm down four. Come on. That's good. Right behind you. All right. So the greatest Boss. part about this is that you can access it anywhere and anytime. You can view it on your computer, web-enabled TV, tablet, smart t smartphones, and all of that. So where do you what where do you do yours? Where do you do yours off? Uh, normally, um, off my phone. You know the new iPhone Max. You know, so I do it off there in the house because my cable ain't on yet. I mean, my internet ain't on yet. Why well, I love Shanti? So I've been doing <laughs> Shanti's exercises, and like I said, for me, it's worked. I'm down four pounds. I'm in excruciating pain, though. I can barely walk, and I hate. You know, when I walk, it looks like I've had sex. So it's just like <laughs> I'm trying to explain to people, relax. It's Beach Body on Demand. All right, so tell everybody where they can get Beachbody on Demand. Geo. All right, right now our listeners can get a special free trial membership when you text UNLOCK to 303030. That's 303030. All right, you'll get full access to the entire platform for free. All the workouts, the nutrition information, and any support totally free. Again, just text UNLOCK to 303030. That's 3030. And listen, we really want all of our fans to really try this because health is important. And as you get older, I'm learning that, hey, you only got one life, one body, and you got to get it right. So try Beach Body on Demand and get it right oh. now. Earlier, we were speaking of the lovely queen, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Stop rolling your eyes. You're just a <laughs> hater. No. They don't be like every other angry woman out there that hates Kim Kardashian. I do she's not a hate successful her. Woman. I do not hate her. I, I, I like what she does. I like what she, you know, what she does for her brand, but mm -hmm. a woman of substance who, um, you know, went to college, coming from a family of teen moms, you know, joined a sorority, fought mm -hmm. past adversity. No, I don't look at Kim Kardashian and feel so inspired. She's not one that does that for me, but there are other women that do Listen, that for me. Well, then you keep looking to Sojourner True, and that's yeah. okay because there are different women that inspire women, and she yeah. has her fleet, and you yeah. got yours. Yeah. Okay, so back on the West. So Kanye West is moving back to Chicago permanently. Do you think this will be a good move for him and his family? Yes. No. Yes. That's what. Okay, wait. You say yes. Why? I think because he needs, like Snoop said, now, and that's the Kanye <laughs> I know. That's the nigga I know. I think him being out here in these smoky mirrors, you know, he sipped a little bit of the Kool-Aid. It kind of got him off his, his his focus, you know, and I think he needs to go back to where he all started from, to where he grinded from to get out of there. You know, I think he needs to spend some time back in the shot yeah. to get back say, to his And you say now, no. Yeah, I, I agree with that aspect of it, but he started a family now, and I don't think that Kim and the kids should be forced to move to cold-ass Chicago. I agree with that. Because Kanye's having a... A uh, midlife crisis. And people, do you really have to move back where you came yeah, from right? to Come be on. who you used to be? I'm not. Do wait, I'm not moving back to Stockton, California. You are not moving to Gary, Indiana when you are pursuing an acting no, no, career. No, 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 no. I will go back for like a good month to just recharge myself. I think he can do that, but to say he said on the microphone, "I'm moving back to Chicago and I'm never leaving." <laughs> <laughs> Why? He was walking down the street by himself. He's like, excuse me, a train, a train's back. What was he really walking down the street of Chicago? He, he was. He, he was. damn sure was. And the way that train was positioned, that's a Chicago he was, ass yes, train. He was definitely like on a regular street. He absolutely had security in front of him, though. <laughs> he had Did you say see? Oh, I don't want to go off topic, but I was. Uh, no, it's this oh. video going around of um, Ariana Grande and her dude walking like forty blocks. In New York, yes. what you think they were by themselves, but then last minute it's this big ass security guard. It gotta be a security I mean, guard. Listen, but in New York though, what I do love about New York is New Yorkers are all on the we go. They're not, not sitting around looking for celebrities. We, they are moving. Yeah, yeah nobody we, looked at that. When that video, when Brandy went on the train singing and nobody recognized her, and the people that did, they was looking at her like, "Why are you well, on a fucking?" It, train? It was Brandy. But nobody. I mean, came. I mean, Beyonce could not get on a train. No, Beyonce. Can't. <laughs> Beyonce no, no, no. Say, listen, that is no. I love Brandy. Mm. That is no shade to Brandy. I'm saying there are some people that can get on the train and there are some people that cannot. Speaking of Brandy, somebody wrote in our comments under the Kanye West rant the other day. He said, you know, not to throw shade at Kim, but the comment was hilarious. It said, Kim, uh, uh, Kim is only famous because of Ray J. Ray J is only famous because of Brandy. Point of the matter is blame Brandy for all these irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Well, they look, you know, the crazy part about it all is you can look over all of these people's success and Kim is more successful than almost everybody. She is. She so, is. I but mean, the, but, but, which is but, why uh, Kylie Jenner I don't want to get in a whole debate about Niggas ain't checking for Kim. At the, Niggas at, checking for Brandy. At the end of the day. Okay. No, we checking for Kim. At the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, for Kim. Kim Kardashian right now can say, I am at... Oh. World on Wheels, and the whole city will show up yeah. for whatever reason. Not Brandy. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I get it. Okay, I no shade. It. All right, so let's move on. <laughs> so SpaceX CEO Elon oh, Musk yes. has announced that Jap that the Japanese billionaire Yusaka 
Yusaku. I don't got no notes. Mazizawa. So <laughs> yes, that was good. good. That was good. I'm trying to get a check. <laughs> will be the first private tourist to fly around the moon. So yeah. what three items must you take with you on a trip to the moon? I got mine. Go what ahead. are they? Lubrication. Because you're going to have to masturbate for sure. You're in space. There <laughs> yeah. ain't nobody else there. There ain't you nobody there. Aliens? No. You're just, let's keep it real. You can't. Yeah. E.T. E.T. ain't fucking with you. I ain't fucking E.T. Would you like E.T. gave you head? And E.T. first I was a nigga. Would you? Have, no, it was not. It was <laughs> e. an alien. But that nigga looked like a nigga. No. A how, did, how did E.T. look like they a nigga? They presented the character as a man, but yes. it could Wait, be unisex. How did they present E.T. as a man? They presented him as an alien. True. <laughs> you oh, can't he, give he, a sex- he dressed up like a woman in... Yeah. She True. dressed up like a woman in the movie. True. I'll, now, look. Rosario Dawson in uh, Galaxy... Okay, okay. I'll tell her that I'll Would tell you that get, let E.T. give you head? No. What kind of Why fucking question? Why are we question? talking about E.T. Okay, listen. Head. We're going to the moon. <laughs> We run into E.T. We ain't had none. My question is very simple. I don't know why we have to keep asking these questions over. It's just yes or no. Would you let E.T. give you head? Hell no, bro. Because I'm like, I'm more of a, like, in order for me to even get hard to come when you give me head, you got to look good. I don't care. You got to look good. Nah, after about 60 days, (laughs) your discretion changes. I went a year without getting head. Oh, well, shit. And that's how long it'll probably take you. Okay, so here's what I would take. Lubrication. I would definitely take iTunes because I need to listen to music. Mm-hmm. And I would, what else would I take? I'd take a Brazilian boy with me. Oh, God. Okay, there you go. That's it. Mine would be music, definitely uh, TV, and um, I would have to FaceTime or something like that, Skype to see my baby girl, my daughter. Okay. What about you? A Bible, <laughs> music. You don't read the Bible in L.A. Bro, she well, reads the Bible. as long as you, uh, yeah, I use, I read it every day. In you my read eye. the Bible. You know you read my Wait, scriptures. Wait, you read the Bible. Yes. The only time you post a scripture on your Instagram is when you're mad at me, which I find that very comical. That is not true. Oh, which wow. I, which I find very Satan comical. Satan does you, not tempt me. You know me? what's funny? You know what's funny? I'm never mad because at you. Because I know, listen, I, you're, you work for me. You get mad at I me. I do, but Everybody. not when I put my Bible scriptures. Let me tell you. I, I love, get DMs I, from I love, people I love my that. team. Listen. One, so that is hilarious. The, we have one of our staff, one of my employees, Keisha, she's in New York. <laughs> she went and covered the Black Girls Rock. One of the one of the uh, one of the other correspondents on the red carpet. I'm gonna read what she said to me. Oh my lord! See, this is what happens when you work for Jason Lee. This is so funny. So though. I got a message on Instagram from a young lady named Real Brittany Marie. Now here's the deal, people. I'm an employer. Employer means I hire people. I fire them too, but I hire them. And this girl wanted a job with Hollywood a lot. God bless her soul. She sent me this most beautiful message. I'm gonna read really quick, Jason. Let me start by saying as a young journalist in this business, I admire the work you've put in making your own lane. Last week, I attended Dream Dolls listening party in New York. I was on the same press list as the two correspondents from your company, Hollywood Unlocked. As you know, at these events, there are lots of press dying to get their interview before it's called off. I was totally able to overpower in a nice way, but make sure I was heard. That being said, your, your correspondents kindly waited her turn. She let myself and about three other waiting press skip her. I only knew she was from your company because I noticed the mic flag. I thought to myself, "Uh uh-uh, honey. (laughs) If Mr. Jason was here, he'd die at her lack of aggression. (laughs) What the fuck you read like that for? I say all this to say you need someone with more aggression Uh and dedication to this business contributing to Hollywood Unlocked. I breathe. I breath. I breath. Okay. Entertainment. Media and have the college education. Would love to further learn more and show you my skills. P.S. We did lunch next to each other in Miami in May. LOL. I didn't respond to her. Thank you for the message. Oh, my God. What I did was I screenshot. I yes. sent it to Jerusalem and then and the employee that she was talking about in New York. Now, there's a couple of things. One, to the young journalists and any aspiring journalists out there that want to work for Hollywood Unlocked or anybody out there that ever wants to work for anybody, do not send them an email or a message criticizing their current employees who clearly mm-hmm. they are investing in and have value for mm-hmm. uh, to make yourself look better because nobody likes that shit. Mm. The second thing is if you're saying to me in a message that you're not respecting other journalists and you're you're jumping over them and skipping over them to get the interview, you're telling me that you don't know how to respect the press line. And if you're on the press line, everybody there has a certain decorum about themselves and there's a certain etiquette you should have. You shouldn't be jumping over people. You do that at a zoo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
And the third thing was we did use it as a way of having a comical joke. But now here's what my employee <laughs> did. She's from the Bronx. She's from New York. And these New Yorkers, I tell you, they so fucking give me headaches. <laughs> She puts the girl on blast on her Instagram and starts going on this big old rant. I had to text her, take it down, because we don't do that. When they go low, we, we go, go high. Lower. We go lower, but not <laughs> online. Okay, people? We go higher, but we go lower. Mm -hmm. The way you go lower is next time you tell BET or whoever or Dream, put us at the top of the carpet away from the riffraff that don't believe in mm -hmm. having proper etiquette or we can't cover you. They're going to put us at the top because yeah. we have bigger numbers. Yeah. The other thing, people, hopefully you learn that it's just not nice to be evil to people. If you yeah. want a job, just earn it on the merit of your own work. Don't earn it by trying to throw other people in the bus. What do you think when you and, saw it? Well, I thought a number of things um, just because, you know, I'm from New York. You you moved me out here. So I've, you know, I worked closely with that employee prior to me coming out here. And I can remember um, her feeling like I was too aggressive. I've been told on the carpet by other journalists that um, they felt I was not like ratchet and pushing past them, but but I'm there to, to get the interviews and they feel like I skipped them, um, but I get my, my stuff. So I did feel as though that employee could take that feedback in regards to her passiveness on the carpet. However, um, to go back and forth with the girl, there's so many people that are watching us. They're watching me, they're watching Alyssa, they're watching her and they want to be where we are and we can't, you know, for, for you to get off of your throne and go back and forth with somebody who wants to take your spot, it's like you're giving them the power. I did when I was speaking to her because Jason had me call her and talk to her about it. I used the example, you know, of, of Nikki and Cardi, because honestly, that was a per great example for younger women to see because we're all a Cardi B. We all want to press that chick who, who was talking all that mess. But in the end, what happened? She walked out looking crazy and Nikki still walked out looking regular. So it's like you, it's always best to take the high road in that in that regard. But it was a funny like it was funny because I know Keisha and I know Keisha wanted to. Hey, KK. OK, well, she was listen, like, I'm ready to go. So off on for all thing. of you out there that are aspiring to do something great, just be great. Yeah. Once you're great, let me tell you right now, Hollywood Unlocked is in such an amazing place. There are so many people yeah. mm -hmm. trying to be down with us, um, you know, on a, on a big business level, which is amazing because. Not because of anything special other than we've done the work. Yeah. There are no yeah. shortcuts to greatness. There's no shortcuts to winning whatever it is that you're fighting for. You have to put in the work. And there are days, I could tell you, one of the biggest, greatest lessons of this whole Hollywood Unlocked experience has been, um, I'll tell you a really quick story. The other day, actor Brian White called me, DM'd me, and said, call me about some money. Now, you know, he got that phone call like that. <laughs> I've known Brian and his wife, Paula, for a long time. I'm like, what's up? So he says, there's a billionaire that I want to introduce you to. Mm. What? When? Tomorrow. We go to this meeting. We're having a conversation with the guy. And he wanted to know my story. Instead of telling him just the Hollywood Unlocked story, I told him my personal story of where I've come from, where I am. I didn't even know in doing so. I was connecting to him and his personal mm. story. And so now we're exploring ways of working together. And, and the, the thing I would say is that you find yourself in the rooms that you belong in if you put in the work because God is going to guide your steps. If you get distracted by everybody else, like that girl trying to distract me, mm -hmm. I'm better than your employee. Listen, everybody has a flaw. Mm -hmm. Every single one of my employees have a flaw. I have a flaw and together we got flaws. But more importantly, what people have to understand about Hollywood Unlocked is every single person that's been here or that is on paid staff or that has been, that's on the show has been here from the beginning and watched it grind out from nothing. Mm -hmm. So for that, there's a sense of loyalty where, you know, we may not always get along or see eye to eye, but, you know, at the end of the day, when it comes to my staff, they know who the, the employer is and they know their responsibilities. And to each other, they understand that, hey, we got to help, help support each other be great. Mm -hmm. So I would just leave everybody with saying, going back to what we started with when we talked about Kim Kardashian, <laughs> being a fucking hater. Yes, yeah, stop being a hater. And then just the last thing, because now that I am on the other side, you know, for that journalist and all the ones that are still back on the East Coast coming out here to Hollywood... The people that are out here really doing it, got all the followers working for bit net networks. It's not like that. Everybody out not out here stabbing people in the back, throwing shade, trying to step on toes. So if you're still in that crab in a barrel mentality on the East Coast, come to the West Coast where there's plenty of opportunity and you'll see that there's no need for that. Yeah. Just work hard. In okay, case you don't want nobody dancing all up in the videos. <laughs> no, but come to we'll the talk, West Coast. We're going to talk about him on our next show. Anyway, <laughs> thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>